9-11 a.m. September 16, 2022 Fourth Thought on Appearance Defined Facial Expressions You can say what I say, or say what you want to say, but facial expressions should be our fourth thought on appearance, so we cover it in this lecture. The expression which refers to someone wearing their feelings on their sleeves describes the ease of translating color of clothiers to the temperature of emotion measured in facial expressions. From indifference one may be to the extremes of happiness or sadness or the alternate extremes of indifference to pleasure or pain. Better yet to explain it, atop the pyramid of emotions is indifference and the four points of the base represent happiness, sadness, pleasure, and pain where we in honest facial expressions see answers to questions asked and await verbal confirmation. We recognize in others what we recognize in ourselves, when we think a certain way making the same facial expression. We are not talking about playing chess smiling to make another smile, when both know the other is hurting inside. We are just saying that variations of smiles and frowns speak volumes of individuals appearance where an understanding of politics provides smiles and frowns at precise times and at appropriate intensities. As we would imagine no one would say harming a puppy could ever be good nor polluting the air or the seas, so a negative expression would be more than enough to say that even, if a particular puppy was harmed which we don't know, our love for puppies has us care for the fate of the one in question. And so, with our fourth thought on appearance we cover facial expressions which include pensive indifference, defaulted emotion, and manic solos. Facial expressions being our fourth thought we think it best to discuss pensive indifference first, because though it identifies a lack of emotion, thought is more stimulating than ability or sense perception. And if it is not the case, it should be, because we are much more than any one setting could ever give enough credit. Whether celebrating a graduation or a 100th birthday, the fire marshal would never approve accommodation where all those important in our lives were to attend. The world is too spacious and there are too many factors to orchestrate anything outside of church or school that can encompass all the different characters who went into making us who we are. Yes, so in pensive indifference we find peace knowing those absent would be happy with the body's movements toward prosperity. Feeling neither one way or the other in most cases provides more room for the middle road to be taken and proves more advantageous to those ignorant. Knowing our inability to affect situations one way or another and finding no beneficial outcome to opposition, not that we are teaching others to deceive, but closed mouths don't get fed, and if we don't have anything nice to say, we shouldn't say anything at all. It is just that who determines what is right is usually the majority where black girl magic isn't as appreciated as much and pensive indifference is more attractive than an obviously opposing facial expression. Defaulted emotion ranges from the two extremes of happiness and sadness as facial expressions is our fourth thought on appearance. If anything speaks from us involuntarily, it is our mood. More attracted to happiness than sadness the defaulted emotion is a smile, from either repetitious reciprocation or for political advantage. We cheer, hooray, and call my nephew's infant's name, when, while looking him in his eyes, he begins to reciprocate our smiles. At work the other day my supervisor who sees me every day at lunchtime eating my homemade lunch in the same chair decided to sit there of all the other available seats in the lunchroom. I didn't own the chair, but my smiling at him as I passed was so for political advantage where my best advantage was to sit elsewhere. Repelled by most overcome with sadness, compassion fuels charity which approaches with concern and tries to meet the individual in distress with a smile of encouragement. We don't have time to consider those who appear sad for the charity afforded, because sadness is a temporary emotion as pensive indifference is filled more so than not by thoughts of happiness. As happiness is a sign of health where few would select those otherwise. Besides that, we only gravitate towards those who are happy with our company proven in their smiles. The manic solo ranges from the two extremes of pleasure and pain under our fourth thought on appearance because the action associated with such mania is speech. Happiness and sadness are similar but not the same as pleasure and pain as the former are moods and the latter are measures of intensity toward the extremes of moods. When we feel neither one way or the other about our legs, they are said to be good where we find pleasure walking to the mailbox and pain, when wasting hot coffee on our thighs. Manic solos include facial expressions as well as speech so that duration and intensity of an individual's mood might be transferred to an audience, if only, and most especially, when it is the Lord. Facial expressions while singing whether of smelling beautiful flowers in the spring or the blues of how I lost my dog, Jeff, my only friend, intensities of pleasure and pain are seen in manic solos. So, remembering our gravitation towards pensive indifference through the defaulted emotional happiness, pleasurable manic solos add intensity and duration to feelings joy. This joy is what attracts those with from those without. Considering appearance our fourth thought covers facial expressions which includes pensive indifference, defaulted emotion, and manic solos. We are trying to inspire achievement with the least amount of physical force as called for by natural selection. It takes more energy to smile than frown, but even less for pensive indifference where the happiness found in peace produces in us smiles for a brighter tomorrow. Following the saying that, if we can't say something nice, we shouldn't say it at all, speaking through our facial expressions, moods of happiness prove more ordinarily habitual and beneficial in politics than not. With intensities in pleasures and pains, manic solos are inevitable, but it is much better to sing a song than to rant and rave. Thank you for your time and consideration.